Hey, what is up, you sexy beast, ghost sickness, or Tristan here, and I am bringing you Ghostly Advice, a weekly advice series that I do, and I'm actually going to get right into it. So the very first email, I'm only going to read the very first half, and then I'm going to summarize the second half because it's a very long email, probably take about five minutes to read. So... Hey, what is up? I need your help with something. You're obviously the best source there is. First off, I'm a huge fan of yours. I would also appreciate this. This could be in the 2014 Ghostly Advice Marathon. That already happened. I'm sorry, uh, which I'm stoked about. All right, so here it is. When I was just four weeks old, I developed a hernia. And long story short, I lost my right nut. Over time, I had realized it's not a big deal. But at the same time, I'm not open to tell my people about it. Only my family knows. But considering I'm a freshman, there's a problem. I don't feel comfortable to change around people, and I don't want people to know because I don't know if they'd mess with me or not, and girls wouldn't like me because of this conflict. Also, there's the sexual life conflict because I'm scared to do anything with girls, but I'm not shy at all. I'm scared to take my pants off, however. I've passed up opportunities to do stuff with several girls because of it. I don't know if it's... Uh... <sighs> If I should tell her before she sees, or if I should just, you know, see if she doesn't care, right? And so most girls may not notice. However, I, I'm lost. I really don't know what to do. I'm not concerned about my looks or my size, but I want your input. Another, I would have one more question I'd like to answer. So I'm going to get right into the very first problem is, bro, you need to understand that girls, if they don't like you for you, they should fuck off, right? Basically. If you're in a relationship and she's like, oh my god, you have one nut, I'm breaking up with you. You know, it's like, you should not be with this girl at all. Because that is asinine. The bottom line is that it's just ridiculous. And you should not tolerate a girl who doesn't respect you for you. And if they notice it, which they may not, because girls don't really like balls too much. They don't really look at them too much. They're just like, yeah, the dick's a thing. And uh, that's all. <laughs> well, not that they even really care about it. But it's just that's their main focus, I guess you could say, winky face. But girls don't really care too much about balls. This isn't a porno. They're not going to suck on your balls. That doesn't that doesn't happen. However, if you if it's really this big of a deal, I would talk to your family about it and ask if there is a type of surgery. I don't know if there is, the where you could get like a marble in place for one. You know what I mean? Get something an artificial nut. I guess I would want to say if it's really this much of a problem as you've said it is because it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. And if your your things hanging down, they won't really notice the fact that you don't have a second nut. I don't know exactly what that looks like, but um, Hitler had one testicle. So either way, what I would say to you is do not worry about it. If a girl does not like it, fuck her literally and figuratively because you know that's that's her prerogative most girls you know like i talked about circumcision before and most girls like a guy who's circumcised but some girls don't some girls are you know they prefer it uncut and uh, quote quote all natural so for you bro just get naked get naked with this girl or do whatever and uh, if they say anything about it then you explain your story and if they don't understand then they are not mature enough to handle the situation and this is a part of you that does not affect your sexual performance. Wink, wink. So that's what I would say about that. Or if you if you really want to, try that and also get uh, some type of surgery if it's really that big of a deal as you make it out to be. And the second part basically says that he likes this girl. They went to homecoming. They did. You know, they're all romantic and stuff. But she's worried about getting back. He's worried about her getting back together with her ex. And uh, here's here's what I would say, bro ask her out you guys did all this really cute stuff at homecoming she grind on me you know what i'm saying so this girl and you have a connection you guys held hands you guys had a moment right and this was more than just homecoming night because you did some more stuff later ask her out dude you got this you, you can do this and don't don't be worried that you only have one testicle bro i believe in you and uh best of luck to you and then this other one is kind of funny, so it's <laughs> relating to the very first topic. I'm sorry if this, this penis talk has been too bad for you guys, but the, the last email is very, very interesting. So stay for that. Hey man, I have a foreskin, but I'm not sure whether I should get circumcised or not. I really need some advice. It would be great to have this on ghostly advice. Okay, so here's what I would say to you, bro. What do you really want? Without being circumcised, yes, you have to clean it, and uh, you have to be... Well, you can feel more things. There's a lot of nerve endings in it, and so there's there that positive thing. But if you want to give some of those up and wait a few weeks uh, by having you know bandages on your junk after getting that taken off is extremely painful. Uh, thank God I had mine done as a child, you know, like a few days old. And so what I would say is, 
if you really care about what people think or what you want at the end of the day it's really what you want to have down there do you want to have more nerve endings or do you want it to be more aesthetically pleasing and that's really your own thing you have to decide that for yourself and whether you want to or not i would say it all depends on what you want out of your body dude this is a permanent choice right and i see why you're hesitant because most of us just have it done and it's not in our control but for you I would say, do you really want this? Do you really want it to look like this? Or do you really want to lose some nerve endings and not have to clean it as thoroughly? You still have to clean it, obviously. I mean, come on, man. Um, but not as thoroughly as a normal person. And uh, it, it all comes down to what you want, bro. And so the last email, this relates to a lot of people. I thought I'd address it because I'm on the complete other side. And this is a very, very good email in my opinion. So... Uh, I came to you for your words of wisdom, you put in parentheses, I'm like, alright, or quotes, and so I'm like, okay, well, I have a kind of bad jealousy issue, and I don't think, uh, I don't like being jealous and stupid stuff, such as when I hear news that my friend got a girlfriend, or got, you know, talked to some chick, or whatever, I think of myself, and I think that they don't deserve it, and I do, I hate thinking like this, but I can't help it. By the way, did you know Mozart wrote a song called Lick Me in the Ass? I'm guessing he had a fetish. And that last part, I looked it up, it's basically kiss my ass. It's basically like, you know, whatever. So anyway, what I would say to you, bro, is jealousy is a thing that you need to tackle slowly. Jealousy is a, is a monster, really. It's, uh, you can see that in Othello. But jealousy can ruin people's lives. It can ruin people's relationships. And it's something that, yes, every, there is a normal level of jealousy that we should all have. You know, we should be jealous of other people's money. And it's just kind of this natural human characteristic. And what I would say to you, bro, is thank God you're recognizing it, right? I'm very proud of you for recognizing that it's a problem, recognizing that you don't like it, and recognizing that, you know, being self-aware. That's always really helpful in these ghostly advice when people are self-aware. Like that guy who's psychotic, he knew, and he was like, okay, well this is a problem and it's it's always good to know a lot about yourself and also a lot about other people so here's what i would say to you is uh focus on what you want right instead of focusing what other people have focus on what you want in your life right it seems like you you're kind of lonely and you kind of want these things you want this girl and don't let them hold you back don't be like well i can't get it because they have it you know that is no restriction for you if i were you i would go out there and make yourself the person they are or the person you want to be be the best version of yourself go up to girls get their numbers talk to them more you can talk to hot chicks just like they can what's holding you back your own noggin head and so if i were you you can do this. Just recognize that you can do this and have that confidence to go up and talk to girls and make their life yours. And don't, don't like steal their life or anything. But what I, kill them. what I would say to you is be the man you want that you see them as. Be the man that you want to be and you know you can be. And that's why you're jealous of them is because they don't have or they have these things that you don't have and you know you can have them. And that's the best part. You need that confidence and you need that just ability to go talk to these girls and go do whatever it is you want to do. Maybe you're jealous of someone having more money than you, then get a job. Maybe you're jealous of someone having a hot girlfriend, then start talking to hot girls, and maybe you'll land one of them, okay? That's what you need to understand and take away from this. Jealousy is a monster, and I believe you can easily conquer this, and the good first step is self-recognition. I really do appreciate that from you. Uh, good on you, buddy, for that. However, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ghostly Advice. Sorry, it was a little more male-oriented, a little bit more dirty. But uh, either way, these are some problems that uh, can be problems. And I really hope this has helped you guys. As always, my email is in the description below. Have a great day, and remember the fact that I love you.